Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Sorry I haven't filmed a video in a while. I've just kind of been doing other stuff um, and filming a video wasn't my top priority. Anyway, today I am back with a kind of like review slash first impressions. Uh, this is the Isla Skin Pink Perfect Australian Pink Clay Mask and it's to detoxify and brighten. I was kindly given this by Isla Skin, um, so thank you very much. I obviously really, really like face masks. I really like the L'Oreal ones, but I've never really tried a pink clay mask, so this will be quite exciting. Uh, it comes in this really cute pink box, and on the side it has um, things like the process. Um, just says, Sp spread mask evenly on your face, sit back and relax for 10 minutes, remove clay mask with warm, wet towel, use moisturizing clean after mask application. So it says it contains Australian pink clay, aloe vera, vitamin A, vitamin E, witch hazel, licorice, uh, pomegranate, mangosteen, rosemary, and lots of other things I'm not going to be able to say. Um, so yeah, I thought I would try this out. Thank you very much um, to Isla Skin. Not sure if I said thank you already, but thank you very much. Um, if I can open it, that is, because... Um, what's the best way out here? So yeah, as you guys know, I really like a good uh, face mask, especially on a Sunday, um, just before the week's beginning, when you're kind of like getting your body ready for the week ahead. Um, so it comes in this really cute pot. I really like this pot, especially like the white top. And um, I'm gonna use just um, a, I'm either gonna, mm, I think I'm just going to use my fingers to apply it. Normally I would use a brush, but I do like using my fingers sometimes because it gives me more control where I can apply some. So this is what it looks like on the inside. It's very like pink and fluffy and it smells so good. It smells like roses. Um, so I'm just going to apply this. My main problem areas are like my T-zone and then like my forehead. So I'm just going to apply it to here. I don't really have any problems around here, but when I do get spots here, I get big spots. <laughs> so, um, first impressions is quite lightweight, as you guys can probably tell. It's basically like putting a moisturizer on your face, which is it's quite strange, but it's quite nice at the same time. Um, you're not putting anything too heavy on your face. So if you are looking for a more like heavier um, face mask, then you probably want to try maybe like one of the charcoal clay ones. This is a this is a bit softer, but I do think that although this is soft, I do think it will work really well because it is a clay mask. Um, like I said, I've never really tried anything with pink clay in it before, so I'm quite excited about it. I really like the scent of it. It smells really nice. It smells very floral. Um, it's basically like... You know the cream that you, <laughs> it's got the texture of like the Nivea cream, um, it's in like a white bottle, I can't, Nivea soft cream, it's got that kind of texture, um, which I quite like. So I'm just going to do it to my problem areas, which is on my cheeks, because I get a bit of, it gets a bit dry and I get a bit of like spots, acne on my cheeks. My nose is a problem area and my forehead. So I'm gonna test these areas out today. So I don't wanna put loads on because my skin's not awful at the moment, but I wanna put just enough just to feel relaxed. So I think that is enough. I have a bit there, oh well. Yeah, so I'm gonna put that much on and then I'm just gonna put the lid back on and um, secure it. So now I'm gonna leave this for 10 minutes and we'll see what it looks like after. Okay, so we're about five minutes in. If you guys can see, it's a bit tighter. Um, it doesn't hurt. Uh, well, it doesn't hurt my skin anyway. Um, so it's not like sensitive or anything. Cause you know how sometimes face masks sting? Uh, this one doesn't sting at all, it's very gentle. And you don't need a very thick layer, as you guys can see. Um, it's still drying a bit here, so it's not fully dry yet. But yeah, so far I'm really happy with it. It smells great, and I think it's gonna make my skin smell great as well. Um, I like how it's not so thick on my skin. Um, you only have to put a very light layer on. And it's tight, but I can still like move. 
obviously I haven't done this area here, but I can still like move my cheeks and it's not restricting me, uh, which some face masks do, literally I can't move when I have them on. Um, <laughs> so this one I like so far. It's been about 10 minutes now. Uh, I'm gonna start removing it with a wet towel. I'm just gonna use some more water and we're just gonna see how easy it is to come off. My towel is looks dirty, it's not dirty, it's because I take my other face mask off of it, which are black. <laughs> So it comes off quite easily as you guys can see. In fact, very easily. Let me try. Sometimes I'll use just like water by itself to take off face masks, or sometimes I will use like a towel or a flannel. Um, it just depends really. So as you can see, it's a bit red here from where I've taken the mask off. I don't think that's anything to worry about because it was red on this side, but it's already gone down. I just think it's where the um, where you're wiping it off. So, yeah, I mean, so far it's all really good. It's really easy to apply, really easy to take off. Um, it doesn't irritate my skin, which is what I look for in face masks, obviously because I have quite not sensitive skin but my skin does get irritated very easily um especially because my skin is very prone to acne so i try and um use products that re reduce the amount of acne that i have um this one i like because it seems quite calming on your skin um and obviously i do get sent products from companies but i don't review products unless I know that I will um unless I know that my um blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so yeah obviously I got sent this product which doesn't um change my opinion at all um because any product that I do get sent I always feature if I know you guys will like it um and if I think you guys won't like it then I won't feature it so yeah I mean I really like this skin it's left my skin with skin I really like this face mask it's, it's left my skin um feeling quite fresh um also quite calming because the face mask itself is it's quite calming and really nice and relaxing um and I think it'll just be a nice addition to my skincare routine I don't think I would use it every week but I'd probably use it like every other week just to change it up because I don't like to use the same product all the time um but yeah I really like it there's I have no bad things to say about it um obviously I'll keep you guys updated on social media so if you don't follow me on like Instagram or Twitter follow me on there which is where I have my all of my updates um but if you are looking for a like a really easy face mask this would also be really nice to take on holiday it's like a really nice packaging um so if you are looking for a nice face mask then i'll leave all the links in the down bar below with all the all the information about the face mask in case you want to pick it up yourself um if you have any other questions do leave a comment and i will try and answer them as best as i can if you have any Yeah, one thing I just noticed about this actually, I don't know if you can see, but it says right at the bottom, cruelty free and vegan, but I don't know if the camera's picking that up, so that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I really like this face mask, there's nothing bad I can say about it at the moment. If you guys have any other questions or you want to know more about the product, I'll leave all the links in the down bar below, as well as the price of it and where you can pick it up. Um, they do, I think they do ship to the UK, even though they're an Australian brand. So I will leave kind of all that information in the down bar below. If you need any more kind of help on um, whether to buy it or not, you can always like message me on Instagram and Twitter and I'll be happy to help you out. So yeah, I, I hope you like this video. I like doing like first impressions and like reviews and stuff on my channel. So if you want to see more of these, give this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. Bye.